Vodafone cares about you and your health. Through our 255 call center, we have empowered Ghanaians from across the country with our unique phone in medical consultancy. We also bring you HealthFest, where a trained medical team travel the nation giving free medical treatment. But it all started here on your TV screen with the award-winning television program, Healthline. This week on Vodafone Healthline, our doctors talk about infectious diseases. In the field, we meet a young boy in a desperate situation. TV program, Vodafone Healthline is back again. Over the next few weeks, we place in your hands the power to make positive decisions about your own health and for a happy and fulfilling life. Welcome. Before we launch into the program, meet your doctors. My name is Ruth and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Papani. Hello, I'm Bright. Hi everyone, I'm Lorraine. As always, we kickstart the program by bringing the cameras to your doorstep. Let's see the questions you have for us on HealthCam. Yes, I'm a unit. But so, if it has been, I have a real bad. And now, of course. Well, Eunice, hepatitis is an inflammatory condition affecting the liver. Now, there can be different kinds of hepatitis, but this one in particular is caused by sexual contact and by blood transmission. They may have abdominal pain, dark urine, they may have body pains, nausea, vomiting, and if the condition progresses, they'll have a yellowing of their eyes and parts of their skin, which we normally term jaundice. The reason why hepatitis B is really of greatest concern is the fact that it's easily spread from one person to the other, and the fact that it's life-threatening. It is actually known to be about 50 to 100 times more infectious than HIV. But the good news is that there's obviously vaccination against hepatitis B. So for babies, they are usually vaccinated at six weeks, 10 weeks, and 14 weeks. And this gives them protection at least for the next 10 years. For adults, if you check and you don't have hepatitis B, you can also get vaccinated by receiving three shots, which also gives you about 10 years protection from the virus. So while we're still on the street, let's take another health care. My name is Christy. I want to know about the Zika virus. Do you have a reported case in Ghana and how it can be contained? Chrissy, thank you very much for your question. The good news is that fortunately, Zika virus has not been reported in Ghana. Ministry of Health actually assures us that in the case of any outbreak, they're very ready to combat the situation. Now, Zika virus is a disease that is spread by a mosquito. It's important that right now that, that there's no vaccine, what you can do to protect yourself is to protect yourself ultimately from getting the bite. So the use of repellents is very effective. The use of protective clothing, and the good old mosquito nets. The good old mosquito net. Another way of spreading Zika virus amongst people is through sexual intercourse. Now, if you have Zika virus, most often you don't have any signs and no symptoms, nothing at all. You just probably carry the virus within you. Now, you'd wonder, then what's the big issue around Zika virus? The thing is that as a pregnant woman, you're, you can actually have a miscarriage or a stillbirth and in some cases, you can have a baby who has a small head and associated brain problems. So this is actually the main problem with Zika virus, so which would want to prevent it from coming to Ghana. I read is new to the show. He'll show you how with a little knowledge you can help others in medical need. What happened? He was trying to dance Azonto, Al Qaeda, Mapuka, and Agbaja at the same time. Hey. He fell and broke his arm. No, I'm not a doctor, but with first aid, I can help. First aid for fractures. Stop bleeding if necessary. But if a bone is pushing through the skin, do not touch it or try to push it back in place. Splint the area. 
gently tape the dislocated area of fracture to a rolled up newspaper, ruler or a rolled up piece of clothing with first aid tape. As much as possible, avoid moving the injured limb and never force it or try to twist it back into place. Reduce swelling. Apply an ice pack wrapped in a cloth or a cold compress. Elevate the injured area if possible. Now see a doctor for help. So you see, it's not really rocket science now, is it? Vodafone, power to you. You have the power to do things for you. It's so nice to be able to see you again on Healthline. You know the eyes are so important because they help us appreciate all the beauty around us. Do we ever need to have our eyes tested? Can we have problems with our eyes? Today, we find out. Healthline would like to thank Impact Medical and Diagnostics in Asylum Down for the use of their facilities. So let's go see what all of this is about in the eye test center. Okay, Nee, so this machine is called the OCT machine and it's also a fundus camera. So I'm actually going to take some pictures of particular parts of your eye, okay? okay? It's not painful, nothing will hit your eye. So just come forward a bit. You put your chin right here, and then you let your forehead touch the top here. Oh, okay. okay, yes, let your forehead touch. So I'm going to take a picture of the whole fundus. At the press of this button, there's going to be a flash, like a normal camera flash. Okay. But don't run away from me, just keep it there for me, gently. Are you ready? And there we go. You can relax now, we are done. Mm. See, it's not painful. None at all. <laughs> that took like a minute. A minute, yeah. Yeah, so you see, no pain, nothing at all. <laughs> so this is the whole eyeball. So we have the arteries and the veins traveling in the eye. They all gather here. That is called the optic nerve head. Mm -hmm. And then they join the brain from here. This is the macula. And then we have the blind spot right in the center of the macula. Mm. So you see, it was painless, it was quick, and they got to see into my eye. If you're ever thinking about doing an eye test, don't be scared, there's nothing to be worried about. And don't be worried as well about the blind spot. It's physiological, which means everybody has one. So, till we meet again on Street Doctor, take care. You're welcome back. Today on Kids Corner, we talk about hypospadias. It's simply a case where the urethra, which is the channel that leads from the bladder to outside the penis, doesn't open at the tip here, but it actually opens at the underside. Here, could open up in the middle or high up here. So in such children, the first thing that you'd realize is that when the child is trying to urinate, the urine actually sprays, and obviously it doesn't come forward, but actually sprays downwards. And then often you'll see that children who have hypospadias, the penis is not straight when it's erect. It's a bit curved like that. So if it's not straightened, it may have issues later on with fertility, with intercourse. And, and you, you can imagine if it's a boy, they're going to toilet, most of their friends are firing from a distance and angling towards and saying, let me hit that stone. And he has to squat to urinate. It, it's, There's it, some stigma to it. it. It's a big, big stigma. So the good news is this can be corrected by surgery. We advise that you do it within the first three to 18 months because it's less painful for the child and the child doesn't have to remember the ordeal. So the child can actually end up living a very healthy, happy and productive life. We now respond to some of your popular myths on Mythbusters. Let's take a question from the audience. Hello, doctors. I keep hearing that drinking from plastic bottles can give you cancer. How true is this? It's not entirely true, but there's something I need to caution a lot of people about. In fact, I'm very happy this question has come up. It's not just a plastic bottle in itself, having a normal drink or juice or whatever, but it is when some of these plastic bottles are exposed to heat and the contents in that bottle are still taken, even after heat exposure. You'd, you, you'd find that typically on our markets now, we have what we call pure water popularly. And most of the time, you find them placed outside the shop in the sun. Now that is the danger. Another thing you should look out for on plastic bottles is the number three or the number seven written in a triangle. When you see this, this shows that it contains a chemical called BPA. Because this chemical, it is dangerous. It is very, very dangerous. In fact, some people have said that drinking or 
water from a bottle that has been heated or sun exposed is like smoking several 20 cigarettes at the same time. So this is more likely to be not a myth. So we should actually take notes and avoid heating plastics in either the microwave or leaving your water bottle in your car, then drinking it later. This is actually something you should be wary of. The following segment contains material of an adult nature. Viewer discretion is advised. On this segment, we talk about embarrassing sex questions you are too afraid to ask. It's time for sex talk. Ikria doesn't tell us where she's texting from, but this is what she's asking. Often during and after sex, my vagina makes farting noises. It can be embarrassing for me. What causes this and what can I do to stop it? Um, during sexual intercourse, air gets, you know, entrapped into the vagina. And this air is usually odorless. Emphasis on the word odorless. But does it make the same noise? Makes the exact same noise. Okay. It comes out with a bang, <laughs> you know. But it's, it's nothing to be worried about. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Now, the, the, the worry is when there's an odor. And there is not ideally supposed to be a connection between your vagina and your gut. But sometimes, as a side effect of maybe surgery or certain disease conditions, there may end up being a connection. And we call this a colovaginal fistula. So fistula is just an abnormal connection between two body surfaces. So this connection would mean that there's a problem where sometimes not only odored gas comes up, but also feces. So you need to watch out for this. If there's no odor, then there's nothing really to worry about. Don't be too embarrassed. Um, be playful about it. Maybe you could even count the number of times you do it during a session and then, you know, you know, take the register and then make it fun and playful. It's nothing to worry about. But then once there's an odor and once it's associated with feces, then I would suggest that you see your doctor for some help. But aside that, have um, an enjoyable sex life. McCaffrey doesn't know it yet that the woman he's grown to love as his mother did not conceive him. And he doesn't know yet how hard Rebecca has had to struggle every day to make sure that he lives. The bond between these two is strong and their story will inspire you. Well, Godwin is presently five years old and he was born with a holy heart condition. The main problem is that you don't have enough blood from the heart going into the lungs. Very little blood goes into the lungs. So if you look at the fact that it is the lungs that the blood will pick up oxygen to supply the body for the body to work properly, it means that if you don't have enough blood going into the lungs, it also means that you don't have enough oxygen and that causes a lot of problems. He's an abandoned child. He's now being looked after by his auntie. Uh, my stepbrother, ba, na ni mama beja no abra ohun se na kuma no ayhanu. Eno beja no hono koye wamba biu. Ye se kama shushe number biya friend, but be si the number no kwa me fra ye se e u c biu. Enti if you hon me fra number ni sa inko na mi jaye. Godwino at the age of nine months, he started having symptoms that were suggestive of a heart disease. Eight years times. Almost 
Sometimes, ni who to me can or not on to me, yen and wash it. On to me, poor whom you whom I insist so. If you are no, I can't see so soon, then the ending may be in a no, and ye ye. And yes, I now a be a me will scack a cry, and I'm the Nicole Hospital. A doctor has cast some of the said, scar some of your beer. And Kaya yeb da 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 da. Eddie 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 but it do be it do maybe a minya wreath na dea be funeral na wa friend me say minya wreath na de man na ma ye and no na me survive you was. Twenty pesos, twenty pesos. Could be full be bar around, or money or more title, but so more qua. na alone, we in two beam, ne daho. Say, be can ne daho, we bin kaya, so I not just a me train, I could see some more beside the could be a beton and son of my son to my lonely beam. And no one am in the share, my coffee, ne did you, and I thought the shame ne be beer. I'm so impressed with the ones. It's a little bit a little a little bit of a little a a Nancyuna yiru o demu ho pa o mu so original ho sa na jo sa ade chini code ni nye ma kwala no code na nu ye dia na ho me nu susu si eze nti ye ya sa na me fa nu ma ye tu ye e ko madam fun mi ko se ni ma me ba ko na o ma ye da ni o mu hall ho ko na ye da bi si se se Mbuana, you bet him up one money water, no beating me. I in Nipper be Dutch. Mr. Sun, Sun, she's the golden sun. Hiding behind the tree, this little children are asking you, please come shine on me, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please come shine on me. We are one, number one. Number one. We are number two. Number two. Uh -huh. Two. 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 Uh, well, yeah, could I be our my dream of being pa? Who train are there? So I be a one, two, three, ne we no more. Or to me, yeah. Or to me, cast some more because a penny in a car. Now so, ne ing na yasre. Presently, he can hardly walk five meters without getting tired. He becomes breathless. He pants. I have a person dear girl, but a girl now because of the car just so dark from and now we're cut off. Oh no. Unfortunately, in his condition, we from our assessment here. We had extensive discussions with the other members of the team, and we think that uh, he should have a staged uh, surgical intervention. So today we want to go in and do the first stage procedure, which is uh, what we call the modified debla lock tussock shunt. What the first stage procedure would do is to divert blood from the circulation into the lungs so that you have more blood available in the lungs to pick up oxygen. 
uh, this will improve his condition dramatically. Later on in the future, we go in and do the uh, what we call total intracardiac correction. That's a definitive surgery so that uh, we can save his life. I'm the person I'm here to we be a quiet man, Godwin. I be in surgery, no. Now we want to know. They be a one who catch them, say, obey pilot. Vodafone partnered with the Ghana Heart Foundation to secure treatment for Makafui. The following scenes contain images that could disturb sensitive viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, Godwin's prognosis. Uh from what I've seen, it's going to be excellent. The operation was very successful. So this is the shunt from the subclavian artery, right going down here to the right pulmonary artery. And uh, already we've seen very dramatic improvement in his uh, oxygen saturations. So it will keep on improving. But he will need a second operation, maybe in a year, one and a half to two years time. Uh, if not, he will outgrow this one. This is just to prepare him for the second operation. But looking at how he responded to this and the anatomy, I think he will grow up to be a normal person. What he needs is, is to correct the abnormality in the heart. Vodafone would like to thank the staff at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Rebecca McAfee and his grandmother Juliana are here with me in the studio. Help me welcome them. Now, Mr. Rebecca, since you are here, since you know what it is, any since you are in some sort of pain, any of you want to First, now no one to me. On Antika, now no one to me. Now my father is here. On Antika, do her. So since you are here, to me, they are growing fine. Mr. McAfee. Obey to me, I'm a five case here, pa. Kick him in, son of What, me that's it? It's not say. Vodafone for almost two, or my ABD. But, eh, I'm a baby, 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 I'm a I am not know so I am going to come. Last season, many of you were touched to donate to Vodafone Healthline. I just want you to know that it's your donations that made McAfee's surgery possible. Thank you for donating. This week is only a window of what the rest of the season has got to offer. Thank you for staying with us. Next week, we bring you another heartwarming story and some more health tips for your basic health needs. My final advice, eat healthy and stay healthy. Goodbye. If you have been moved by the stories or issues you've seen on Healthline, you can donate one Ghana CD by texting GIVE to 133. If you want to donate more than one Ghana CD, please dial star 133 hash and follow the prompts. Next week on Vodafone Healthline. Did you know there was a way you could actually see your heart beating inside your body? In the field. If it's a benign lesion, she has a very good prognosis. But if it's a malignant one, the patient might need more treatment after the surgery.